Anchor totally crush it with the update to the Anchor Nano 3-in-1. This is gonna be one of my go-to battery banks for 2025, 2026. With that being said, it's only ranked number two, so. And when it comes to battery banks, I buy a ton of them, then I bully them by draining them at every speed imaginable, and then I recharge them like a maniac and hope that nothing burns up in the process. Capacity-wise, this is a 10K milliamp hour battery bank. It gives you about 36 watt hours of power. This battery bank has only one USB-C port. There's no USB-A. There's a USB cable baked into the top, which also functions as a carrying strap. And the best part about this product, you can plug it into an outlet. I love the design of this product because Anchor took the old Nano and smashed it together with the old Anchor 733. The 733, this thing, was one of my go-to battery banks for a couple of years, um, but they've mashed these two things together and came up with this. This thing is just slick. The maximum wattage for this product is 30 watts and it comes with a variety of different charge speeds. The front of the product is very glossy, looks like the entire thing would be a screen, but you get a very, very simple LED monitor. Basically, it'll tell you if you're charging and doesn't tell you if it's discharging. So, yeah. now when it comes to voltage, accuracy, and stability, this thing came in at number two. It was crazy to see the values coming from this tiny power bank. In my discharge testing, it was also quite efficient as I managed to pull 27 watt hours against the dated 36, but there was this massive red flag in my discharge testing. This product would start off at 30 watts and it would stay at 30 watts till about 60 to 70%. When this thing hit around 45 degrees to 50 degrees Celsius, this thing would thermally throttle and go down to five watts. Out of the 14 battery banks I've tested, this is the only one that does that. Now. Other products would just fail completely and stop charging. This one just keeps going. But hold on, not all is lost. And when it comes to real world charging, these devices don't pull a straight 30 watts from this battery bank. I do that in my testing just to see if the product holds up. Now when it comes to recharging the battery bank, it pulls 30 watts. So to get a full charge for this product took under two hours. And if you charge it using the uh, wall prongs, little over two hours. Again, heat might be an issue with this product. This was one of the hottest battery banks that I've tested, though the recharge rate was a little lower than average. Not sure how that works. In terms of size, this thing only weighs 251 grams and despite being very efficient in terms of charging its energy density is very average this product is going to get scratched up over time the front is this glossy uh, plastic it's going to show fingerprints and scratches easily the back has a matte finish to it and as you can tell I've already there's some uh, friction marks on it already and the edges have a good grip strip type of uh, finish. Now in terms of price and value this thing's only $36 it's not going to break the bank and it is going to be the best battery bank that you can get for your, for your money. My biggest issue with battery banks is that half the time they're dead when I need them because I have to go plug them in. But with this thing, I can always have it plugged in and use it as a regular charger for my devices. So when I need a battery bank, I just pop it out of the wall and I just go. Like it is... Oh, it's just, this makes life so much easier for me. So would I get it if I wasn't a reviewer? Heck yeah, and you should too. I'm on a mission to figure out what the best battery banks are in 2025. If you're gonna get this uh, Anchor Nano, the updated version, don't get the old version, use my links. I've spent a thousand dollars on these battery banks to figure out the best one and this is it. Actually, it's only ranked number two because there is one that is on paper or uh, the charge rates are just phenomenal. Thanks for watching.